Have you ever encountered one of these? This is a lock which has been approved for use on your luggage by the United States Transportation Safety Administration. It can both be opened by the combination that you know and a special key which is only held by the TSA. It's great for usage when traveling to prevent any rando from accessing your luggage. However, how would you feel if instead of just the TSA, anyone along the baggage handling chain at the airport could access what's inside your suitcase, even if you put a lock on it? Unfortunately, that's effectively the case for much of data that's encrypted in the cloud today. Let's talk about cloud encryption. Most cloud providers today will gladly tell you that they encrypt your data in transit and at rest. And that's technically true. However, there are nuances in the way that data is secured, how it's stored, and who can access it, which are important for you to understand. Before we really get into the nitty gritty of those nuances though, we need to quickly talk about what encryption is and why it's important. At its most simple, the goal of encryption is to take data and make it unreadable to anyone who doesn't have access to the secret needed to see that information. In today's parlance, we call this secret a key because it's what's used to lock and unlock the data. The ability to take that data, hand it to someone else, and have it be completely unusable to that other person is the backbone of online data security. It means that even when your data is stored on someone else's computer, it's possible for it to be safely secured. Like I said, at this point, almost every single cloud provider in the world will say they encrypt your data in transit and at rest. All that means is that some key is applied to the data while it's transiting over the network and also when that data is stored on servers in the cloud. What it doesn't address, notably, is where that key is stored and who has access to it. What many cloud providers will do is have a single key that's used by a whole set of their servers in their data center. That means that if anyone happens to break into the data center and take a hard drive, that data will not be accessible. The wrinkle here is that as long as the servers are running as expected and the application that makes up the cloud service is also running as intended, there's no decryption needed to access the data stored in the application. That means that anyone at the cloud provider with sufficient permissions or any hacker who gains those permissions through nefarious means over the internet can have unfettered access to the plain text version of all the data stored there. This method is used nearly universally by cloud collaboration providers and sync solutions. Attack taken by other cloud storage and backup providers is to have a unique key for each user's data. That key is then required every time data is accessed, and that means that even if someone were to gain access to the raw data in the cloud, they'd not be able to access any of the plain text information inside of it. The trade-off here is that with that added layer of security, it's a little bit more difficult to share your data with others. That said, when we're talking about something like backup data, I don't think many people want every single picture they've ever taken or their tax records to be easily accessible by anyone other than themselves. If you're looking for a cloud storage provider which allows you to access your data from anywhere while meaningfully preventing anyone else from accessing it, check out the link in the description. Otherwise, I gotta get to the airport. Anybody remember what my combination was? <laughs>